why do I think the non-peaceful situation occurred? Was it solved? How could it be solved? At first, it's not resolved. But the Mel Marcus is that the problem is the people here in the Philippines that against democracies and being the first leader uh, Imelda Marcus explained how she built the project the peop- uh, to the people and President Marcus declared martial law during his time and took secured and safety for the people uh, to Filipino people and it has a uh, bad and good about it uh, the bad is uh, the bad thing is uh, other women uh, are raped because of the terrorist and the um, uh, the men are tortured uh, to San Juanico bridge they uh, left hanging there and uh, they were they were tur- tortured and that was uh, the non-peaceful situation occurred uh, that's it. When I first hear about the Marcos regime, all I could think about is how Ferdinand Marcos became a great leader when he ruled the Philippines as a president. It is true that the Philippines was powerful during his time, and other countries commended his democratic approach to the Philippines. Additionally, back in my elementary school days and junior high days, I believe that Filipinos became disciplined, and that the Philippines was rich because of President Marcos. Not until uh, until we had a debate about the topic of President Marcos. When I began researching and watching interviews of people talk about President Marcos, they could only say it was how cruel he was when he declared martial law to the Philippines. Plenty of people died and suffered during this time. Now, when I watched the documentary, The Kingmaker, it only justifies the point that Ferdinand Marcos was brutal to the Filipinos during martial law. I also believe that the first lady, Imelda Marcos, took part into the cruelty when they became aware that the position of president is endangered to them. And I also believe that she led the assassination of Benigna Simeon Ninoy Aquino Jr., a president candidate that is against the Marcoses and is loved by the citizens of the Philippines. Not only that, she even evicted exactly 254 families so she could have her own private zoo, only to never return. I saw her before as a gentle person that cared for her nation and family. But after watching the documentary, it changed my view to her. I believe now that she is also corrupt, just like her husband. For me, what I need to change or what I should change in myself is not to be selfish and greedy with things. According to the movie Kingmaker, you can see how Emelda Marcos became without thinking about what will be the result or cause of the decision she made. If we notice that the name Marcos is very popular when it comes to such things, even though what happened is many centuries ago. Can you believe it that until now, the so-called martial law is still attached to their names where many people have died. For question number four, as a student, being educated about the matters discussed in the film is important. Why? As a student myself, the answer is yes. The matters discussed in the film is important to discuss because some students like me needs to know and be educated about the happenings in our country in the past and present years, especially in the government. Having to discuss to them will lead them not to be clueless about the happenings in our country and government. To let them know what's good and not good. Maybe the film will lead them to know what's right and wrong. Even though we are students, we have the rights to know the importance and the matters that discuss in the film. The students like me needs to be aware about corruption and other things happening in our country government and country that's why it needs to be discussed and let others be educated about as it. a student i value being informed about the topics presented in the video because it informs me that ferdinand marcos became president of the philippines in 1965 at the time 
when his country was regarded as one of the great models of third world political and economic success except for Indochina his admin administration coincided with a huge Pacific Asian economic boom the most rapid economic takeoff in world history and a, a comparable broad-based political consolidation throughout the region Marcos was largely regarded as one of the most brilliant lawyers and political leaders of his time according to jstor.org this seems to be true